Math is all about patterns and trying to discover mathematical rules from those patterns. Let's take a look at one of the first mathematicians you would know about, Pythagoras. He lived about two and a half thousand years ago uh, in Greece and he um, is very famous these days for his theorem. He didn't actually discover that theorem, but he made it very popular. But he did a lot of other maths, uh, very original maths. And one of the things he looked at was patterns in numbers. Um, he was a strict vegetarian because he believed that you uh, came back, you reincarnated. And because of that, for that reason, he did not eat meat. And we're going to use um, uh, chickpeas uh, and beans for this uh, pattern. So let's take a look at uh, what are called the square numbers. So what we have here is one, and then if you have two at the bottom, to make it a square number, you need to have two at the top as well. So two by two. If you have three at the base, to make it square, you need three by three. And if you have four at the bottom, you need four by four. But he also noticed another pattern, that if you start with this one, and then the next square number, you have 1 plus 3. The next square number, you would have 4, this 4 here, 4 plus 5. And then the next uh, square number, you'd have this original 9 here, that 9 plus 7. So it was always adding the next uh, odd number. So in this case, there's 16 here. So the next one would be 16 plus 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. So you can see the square numbers and the patterns in the square numbers. Pythagoras also looked into other shapes in numbers. These are called the triangular numbers or the triangle numbers. So you start with 1 and then 2. And when you have 2 in the base, you need a third one to make a triangle. When you have 3 at the base, you need 6 to have, have a triangle. And when then we have 4 at the base, you need to have 10 altogether to have a triangle. So these are the uh, triangular numbers 1, 3, 6, 10. They were so important to Pythagoras that the school of uh, scholars that came from Pythagoras actually used it as a symbol. You can see it in this picture at the very top. That is actually this symbol here. And it's very important because it links um, Pythagoras, who did a lot of work on music. And it is the addition of the first four numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 10. The other pattern we need to see with triangular numbers is that we have 1 here, and then to get the next triangular number, you add the next number, which is 2, so 1 plus 2. To get the next triangular number, you add the next number, which is 3, so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3. And then to get the, the fourth number, you add the next number, which is 4, so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3. Plus four. So to get any triangular number, you add up all the numbers up to that number. The other interesting pattern that Pythagoras discovered is that when you add two triangular numbers after each other, you get a square number. So in this case, we have three. I'm just going to rearrange that slightly. And then we're going to add these two together. You end up with nine. So the 3 plus the 6 ends up being 9, which is, a, which is a square number. And this will work with all triangular numbers.